two years ago, I, I had the privilege of speaking at, a, at an awards banquet in, in London. I think it was in June of last year, maybe. And, and I met somebody there, a very interesting man. He won the awards at the Financial Times IFC Sustainable Finance Awards event in 2011. He inspired me significantly. He shared with me an example of a, of a deal that they financed six years ago. A recycling business in India. At the time of finance, the business employed five people. Today, more than 13,000 people. The revenue and the profitability increased commensurately. I came back and I shared it with the colleagues and I said, maybe that's what we've got to try and do. Of course, doing lifestyle and specializing in lifestyle business is good for us and good for this country's economy and good for entrepreneurs out there. Of course, we have a development impact by doing that, and we do so on a sustainable basis. But the challenge is, can we do transactions like the one I described, which enables us to do greater good than we have ever done before, and to make more money at the same time? So that's a challenge we've set for ourselves. Now, it's with that in mind that over the few last few months, I've persuaded some of the colleagues, and they have in turn taken up the challenge. We've put together this fund, which will enable us to target businesses, which may be, it may be businesses, it may be people with a great concept, it may be people with a great product. For us, the important criteria is it, it, it must be scalable. It must, must have legs to grow and to service a market way beyond the initial geography in, in which it was established, into South Africa, possibly into Africa, possibly into the world. Those are the kinds of businesses we will be targeting and earmarking from our venture capital fund.